What's up, people? Once again, it's your boy, the Black Cobra. And today I'm here again with your gadgets, your games, and your gear. So today I'm gonna start or continue a series on home automation. Okay, I started with Alexa. I did that video, you can see that right here. And today I'm gonna move on to the Wink Hub. Okay, this is the hub I chose. And some smart collect connected light bulbs and an appliance module. All right, so stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, so this time I decided to forego and skip the unboxing. And in the box comes the Wink Hub, which I'll show you in a minute, and a very minimalist instruction manual. And then it has the plug and the ethernet connector. Now, you can either connect it with an ethernet connector so that it automatically goes through, or you can connect it using your Wi-Fi network and you can set it up that way. That one takes a little bit longer, so I went with the ethernet connection and I wanted a, a faster and a more sturdy connection, so that's what I went with. But just so you know, you do have the option. So it was very simple to set up, it really was. And if you look at the instructions here, uh, that's it. That's all they give you. Steps one, two, and three. Very simple. So if you're looking to get into this and you're interested in it, I can tell you that for my first jump into this, it was so simple. I'm very happy with the way it turned out and I wish I hadn't waited so long to get into it. So without further ado, let me show you some things. All right, so here we are in the living room. I wanna give you a quick demonstration and show you how things are working so far. So here we have the hub. We have the Wink Hub 2, and it's hooked up and ready to go. Not sure if you can see the blue light on the front, but it's set up here and integrated into my living room. Alexa's over there. Alexa's ready to, uh, okay. <laughs> She's already listening. Um, and we have it connected to the light, the lamp, and the tree. So I'll give it a shot and let you see how it sounds, or how it looks, rather. All right, so now we have the living room light. Let's see how she works. Alexa, turn on the living room light. Okay. There you go. Quick and easy. Now there's two bulbs inside and we can work them individually. Alexa, turn off bulb one. Okay. And she'll turn it off individually if you want or I set it up in a group so it'll work together. Alexa, turn on bulb one. Okay. Alexa, set the living room light to 20%. Okay. She'll dim it for you. Alexa, turn off the living room light. Okay. And she'll turn it on and off, whatever your desire is. So here we are over at the tree, and the tree itself has no connectivity, but what I did was I utilized the appliance module, the Leviton appliance module, and you can see that it's connected to the wall down here and then the tree is connected into the module. Then we, we connected the module, I'll show you how to do that a little later, and then it, it gives the ability for the Echo to control it. So, Alexa, turn off the tree. Okay. Alexa, turn on the tree. Okay. Very easy, very simple, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, last but not least, in our living room, we have the lamp. Alexa, turn on the lamp. Okay. Alexa, set the lamp to 20%. Okay. Alexa, turn off the lamp. Okay. Quite simple. And again, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like when you set something up in the app. Uh, now, if you look here, you can see that um, once you go to the item that you want, in this case, uh, we'll start with we'll start with the light bulbs. So you scroll down to where you want. Um, you look here; it says lights. The Cree light bulb is the bulb that I chose. You can see there's a whole host of them and it tells you exactly what to do okay you have your light bulb ready you have your light fixture ready then you have your wink hub 
and the blue light should be on, the indicator light should be on and set up and all ready. And then uh, it says be sure it's plugged in and within range of the Cree light bulb. Okay, when instructed, you'll turn the Cree light bulb on, but not yet. That's one thing I did learn is that you have to wait until you get to the part where it tells you to turn it on. You have to first start the process and then do it. Otherwise, it doesn't recognize it correctly. Two of the bulbs took me a while to get it. I reset them a couple of times. There's a, there's a pattern to reset them. And then I went ahead and uh, did it again the correct way and it was very easy. Okay, so then you hit the next. And when it says connect now, then you hit connect now, then it tells you to put the bulb in and then it starts searching. I'm gonna cancel that. But once, it's, once it starts searching, then it connects. And as soon as it connects, it takes you to the next screen where you can label what you have, okay? And the same thing works um, with the appliance module. It works the exact same way. So let me scroll through here because I actually, uh, let's see, remotes. No, that's not the one. Relay, power, smart switch. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Trying to see where it's at, seeing as I scanned it. And it brought me right to it, so I didn't have to search for that. But let's say, um, all right, so then you would connect, you would scroll and find um, exactly what else you're looking for. And uh, no, we don't want to leave that. Uh, but you have, you can see here, you have hubs, alarms, the echo, blinds, bridges, cameras, ca um, cannery doorbells, energy monitors, fans, fun, garage. There's just so so much uh, that you can connect to. Uh, and this this process is pretty simple. As you can see, it's, it's a quick one, two step. In the same way that I connected the light bulb, the exact same way that I connected the um, uh, appliance module. All I did was the same thing. The, step, the steps are exactly the same. It just shows a different picture. And then when you get to the part where it says connect now, you hit connect now and on the on the module, that little button that was sticking out, that's when you push that button. You'll push that one, it'll illuminate, it'll talk to the hub, and within seconds, it'll say that it's connected, and then you can go and name it what you want. So I'll back out here so you can see um, that I have these items and they're all on right now. So the tree, I could turn the tree off, I could turn the tree back on, and the bulbs, one and two, I could do those individually, or I could do the lamp that's also in the room. And then if you go over to groups, you can see that I've that's how I've grouped them together. So the living room is the lamp and both light bulbs in the living room light fixture on the ceiling. And the main room is, oh, I'm sorry, actually the main room is the lamp and the light fixture uh, on the ceiling. The living room light is just the light fixture on the ceiling. I had to cause, I make a group for that because both bulbs, they work separately. So in order for them to work together, I made a group for that as well. Now, that's pretty much it for the setup. One thing I will tell you um, in this, and it's one thing that should be noted, is that when you are setting this up, when you're setting this up, and you go into the Amazon uh, Echo. When you do that, you do it does recognize all of your devices automatically once once you enable the Wink Hub skill. And that's what it is. You go into your Amazon Alexa, and you go into her skills, and then you just enable the Wink Hub skill, and she will automatically pick up all the devices. Excuse me, that you have connected to it. Now, the problem comes in. Uh, when she doesn't recognize your groups, she just recognizes your devices. So you have to put your groups into the uh, Amazon Echo. You have to put your groups in again. So whatever groups you set up here, you just set them up again 
on Alexa. That way Alexa can recognize your groups as well as your individual uh, items. And it, it works really well. Once I did that and got that all set up, it, it was like a dream. Um, and it's really quick, as you saw. Um, there's, there's barely a delay. Uh, and now I've ordered an Amazon Dot, the second generation, so that I can put one in my bedroom and I can have uh, voice automation all over the house. So again, simple, uh, pretty much inexpensive. Uh, each one of the devices, you know, they do cost a little bit. The light bulbs, like I said, were the most, uh, the least expensive I could find. And they range from the $16 or $15.99 bulbs that I got here to $30, $40, um, and probably more per bulb. So those can get expensive. Now, another, the next thing I'm going to do is go into wall switches because instead of doing individual bulbs, I'm going to try doing the wall switch itself because there's the other two places in my uh, main, main floor have multiple light bulbs. One has three light bulbs, one has four light bulbs. And instead of doing them individually and having to do a group, I think I'm going to try the wall switch. That'll be probably my next video. So stay tuned for that. So just to recap, we use the Alexa, which is the Amazon Echo. We use the Wink Hub, the Wink Hub 2, by the way. We use the Cree light bulb, connected light bulbs. And we had the daylight version. They also have the soft light. And we use the Leviton appliance module. So now I understand why the instructions have one, two, three, because the, it is very simple to set up, very easy, all the way from opening the box to setting up the hub, to connecting the devices, then connecting them to Alexa. All very simple. So that's it. That's how quick, simple, and easy it is to get started with home and, uh, automation. If you're interested, like I was, I hope you pay attention to what I just showed you. Jump right into it, grab some things, and get yourself started. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple more videos. If you're interested, stay tuned. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and come back and join me. If you're looking for the items that I showed you today, I'll put the links in the description down below, link you straight to Amazon, and you can buy them for yourself. I appreciate you. I hope you appreciate me. Until next time, this is the Black Cobra with your gadgets, your games, and your gear. Peace.